Welcome back to Sasquatch Composites. I'm Brandon and today I'm going to show you how to make this a better infusion clamp that costs just four dollars and about 30 minutes to make. Here we go. I wanted to start doing infusions more but when I went to buy vacuum line clamps I really didn't like the twisty style ones that I was seeing and I wondered if I could do better. One day I was looking at a pair of Harbor Freight locking pliers that I had around and I had that light bulb moment. I thought by modifying these plier jaws with some eighth inch steel rods I could quickly and easily clamp a hose with one hand and I could release it just as easily. So I set to work. I roughed up all the surfaces I was gluing and I mixed up some epoxy with some cabasil and I glued the rods in place. Like putting toothpaste on a toothbrush. A very sticky toothpaste on a very toothy toothbrush. It's a bad metaphor. And that's about all there is to it. As far as tutorials go, this is as easy as it gets. The only thing to watch out for is to just make sure you get those rods lined up nicely. In addition to that, I'm just going to take a sanding block and I'm going to clean up any excess um, burrs, any sharp spots on there. I want to make sure that there's nothing that's going to puncture the hose once I get there. And once I'm done with that and the jaws are all smooth, we're ready to go. Let's test it. All right, to test this out, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clamp off this tube on the outlet for my, my, my resin catch pot. And then I'm going to pull vacuum, uh, close the valve, and we're just going to see over 15 minutes if it drops any, any uh, vacuum. One of the great things about this is that I can adjust the amount of clamping force by twisting this. That might be a little bit too... not quite enough, so we're going to tighten that up just a hair. Oh yeah, that felt like it was a solid clamp. Alright, let's pull vacuum and see how it does. To pull the vacuum, I'm using my Cozy Vacuum $60 vacuum pump from Amazon. Uh, if you'd like to see my, my videos on that, I'll put the link to those in the description where I do a full review. Uh, I've had this for about two years now and it's still working quite well. Right, and let's test this out. Okay, it's at 25 inches. I'm going to cap that off, flip off the pump, and we'll just watch it. Give that about 15 minutes and see if it drops. All right, it's been 15 minutes and we are still pegged at 25 inches. Uh, I'm gonna call this a success. This clamp seems to work really, really well. I love that it's adjustable. I love that it's easy to open and close. I mean, check this out. That's all I gotta do when I go to open it again. I love that I don't have to spend forever untwisting this clamp that has a thousand twists to get it open or to close it. It's just a really quick clamp and release. Super, super easy to do. I went ahead and made a couple of these things and I gotta say they work. I used them to do an infusion and it worked out pretty well. I spent just over $10 to make two of these things, but I had plenty of steel rod left over to make more. And so if I were to make a bunch of these, it would really come down to just over $4 a piece to make these clamps. So there you have it, the $4 clamp that takes about 30 minutes to make. And in my opinion, outperforms any of those twisty clamps that you can buy. I'd much rather have this thing than one of those. Now, as much as I'd love to say that this is an original idea that I came up with on my own, I think that would be a bit dishonest. I did come up with it in a vacuum, but when I thought of it, I thought there's no way in the world that nobody else has done this before. And sure enough, after I finished making this and testing it, I was walking through a composite shop one day and sitting there on a table, lo and behold, there it is, made by Irwin. It is a clamp very similar in mechanism to this one. Now, theirs is much bigger and I don't care for that. I really like the small size of this one. I wouldn't want it any bigger than this, personally. But they do make them, and once I looked up that Irwin clamp online, uh, sure enough, it was recommending other ones to me. There are other brands that make the same thing. So, as I suspected in the beginning, there are more people out there making this than just me. It's not an original idea. I'll throw a link to the Irwin one in the description if you want to look at that for yourself. But if it were me personally, I'd just build one because I like this better. It only costs $4 and literally takes less than 30 minutes of work to make. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, share, subscribe, and I will of course see you on the next one.